Hello, this is Lakshmi Kantiwari. In this tutorial, we are going to create a LED blinking program for STM32 F7 microcontroller. Here, I have STM32 F7 discovery board and it has one user button and one user LED. So, first, uh, we will create a project into the STM32 CubeMX. If you do not have this uh, software you can download from STM website download it and install and uh, when you will open a first time and you will see uh, the first welcome screen will come out and then you just click on a new project then a new window will come out where you can select a board and of course it is a discovery board and MCU series is F7 and it is F746 discovery board okay and you can see the detail of these boards it has 128 megabit HD RAM and high speed USB full speed USB TFT LCD of 4.3 inch which is a supports QVGA resolution and uh, it has on board total 6 LEDs but only one LED is available for a user which a user can blink okay and it also supports audio no UNO connectors and also it has uh, Ethernet cable, camera, SD card supports, audio input and audio output jacks. Okay. So all these features this board have. Let's click on OK. And then it will open a new window where you can set a con clock configurations and the input output pin configurations and other peripheral pin configurations such as ADC, DAC and other things. By default, number of pins has been already assigned for some function, but we do not need all these functions. So the we can clear all these pin from here. Clear all these pin outs. Okay, and for the RCC, uh, we can set here the high clock speed with the crystal and ceramic resonator, and then into the system, you can set a debug mode, a serial wire debugging mode. Okay and after that only we need to find the GPIO pins which is connected with the LED and uh, in this microcontroller that's mean on this board F7 board the PIE1 uh, is connected with the LED so we need to search PIE1 okay so where is PIE1 here PIE1 and we need to define it as a output okay so we have defined this pin as a output which is connected with the LED. Fine. Now come to the clock configuration. It supports maximum 216 MHz. Let's set a maximum clock frequency and enter. Then it will automatically set other parameters which will fit into the 260 MHz. And then come to the configuration here. Into the ARM Cortex M7, there are number of Cortex interface settings which will accelerate the performance either you can enable it or you can leave as it is okay for LED blinking it won't affect your program and then click on ok we do not using GPIO and for the NVIC we can set RCC global interrupts and click on ok and we have already set you can see here and for the GPIO as you can see we do not need to set anything here okay just click on ok now click on the generate code here we need to set um, project name let's say it LED blink and uh, let's and let's give the path here F7 sorry sorry okay okay the LED blink into the folder F7 and minimum heap size is 1 KB and minimum stack size is 512 byte but we do not need to set a heap anything for LED blinking okay we actually we do not need heap uh, for LED blinking and uh, but we need a stack some stack we need because of that in LED fun LED function also uh, some function will be called internally and uh, the temporary variable will be stored into the stack that's why we need a stack but we are not allocating any memory into the runtime so we do not need heap here just open your project okay 
sorry I have just missed something here come to the setting yes we need to set it rmmdk version 5 ok I need to the code generator copy only the necessary library files and then click on ok and then regenerate your project now it will generate your project for a KL microvision now open your project into KL microvision and when will you expand it you can see here there are three files all MSP and interrupt and the main files only we need to change this mail main files and we can add our extra code here into while one and uh, the function which are available to use here you can click on function and then into the gpio.c you can see these functions are available for the gpio we can use these functions so we need this gpio toggle okay what we can write here hall gpio toggle pin and uh, here you can set a GPIO toggle pin number ok so here we need GPIO I and the number which we need GPIO sorry GPIO pin and it is pin number 1 ok and just we need to introduce some delay here so hall delay let's set a here 300 millisecond delay that's all what we need here and compile this code so something is not good here ok so we need to regenerate our code ok no problem regenerate this code one more time now compile this code Okay, you can see here 0 error and the 0 warning and the code size is 3.184 kilobyte. Okay. Load it into the microcontroller which is connected with my computer. And here you can see when I press this reset button it will start the toggle LED ok now let's change it to 500 millisecond compile your code and then after this load your code into microcontroller after that you can see uh, your LED will blink little bit slow see yeah. now the frequency of this LED has become 1 Hz ok so thanks for watching this tutorial and stay tuned for the more tutorial